Okay, so today I'm gonna be making oatmeal chocolate chip cookies from Run Fast, um, Cook Fast, Eat Slow book, which I love, by the way. Thanks, Mom. Um, so here's the recipe. Okay, you probably can't see that, so I'll just show you later or something. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 350, and then, bam, you take some oats. Two cups of oats. Whoops, kind of spilling. Who cares? Oops, wrong bowl. This bowl. You need two bowls. This one's for later. Okay, so two cups of oats. Okay. Next, you need one and a half cups of flour. You can do all-purpose flour or, I don't know, any flour. So we need one and a half. Next, you need baking powder and baking soda. Okay, so you need one teaspoon of baking soda and then one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, so these are all the dry ingredients and the last thing that you add to the dry ingredient bowl is chocolate chips. So one cup of chocolate chips. Um, these are semi-sweet chocolate chips, so Okay, so now let's mix up all of our dry ingredients oats flour baking soda baking powder salt and chocolate chips Okay, that looks good enough. Okay, so you're gonna melt, slightly melt these sticks of butter. So put them in for like 15 seconds and then rotate them like 15 more seconds and that should be good. Okay, and then you're gonna take one cup of white sugar. And then two eggs. And then you're gonna take two, two teaspoons of vanilla and add it to your wet ingredients. Okay, so now you're gonna beat up all of your wet ingredients on medium speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And try not to make a mess. Mm. Okay, once that's creamed together pretty good, then you're gonna take your wet ingredients and add them into your dry ingredients. Oh, oh, don't do that. Okay, so now we're adding them together after you cream the wet ingredients. Then you're just gonna fold these in together. So let's mix these up.
Okay, so I finally finished mixing it. It was really tough. It's really thick. Okay. Okay, so I have my baking sheets and these parchment paper sheets so that they don't stick to the pan. So... Okay, so now they're done. Okay, let's move this watermelon. <laughs> Gonna take them off the pan and put them on this cooling rack. So thanks for making um, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies with me. They turned out great. Okay, now for the taste test. Mmm.